In this video, I want to talk about reflecting points. Uh, so when we talk about reflecting points, we're going to uh, we're going to mirror them. Uh, one way to say, one way to describe reflecting is to mirror. We're going to mirror them across the x-axis. We're also going to mirror them across the y-axis. Uh, I'll do that in the next slide. Okay. So now, one thing about reflections, one thing about a mirror is that uh, one thing you got to know is that uh, if I'm reflecting across the x-axis, right here is my x-axis. So this point is going to reflect across this x-axis. Now one thing that we know about this is that these points, when they get reflected across the axis, the two resulting points, the original and the new one, are going to be the same distance from your line of reflection. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use that fact to help us to reflect this, uh, this point across. So notice that the x-axis is right here, which is two. It's two units away from this point. So the new point that I'm going to have is also going to be two units away from my mirror, away from my mirror, is going to be two units away from my x-axis. So here's my new point, uh, that is negative three, negative two, okay, so that right there is my, is reflecting a point across the x-axis, okay, doesn't, doesn't look too terribly difficult, but one thing you got to remember is that this distance here, okay, between the original point and the uh, the axis that we are reflecting across, this distance is 2, this distance between the new point and the axis also has to be 2. Okay, got to remember that. Okay, so now let's look uh, kind of some, at, no, some, some notation, and then we're going to look at, that, at this in general. Uh, give me a moment to move this around a little bit. We're going to look at this with the notation, and then we're going to look at this in general. Okay, so if I want to reflect the points across the x-axis, so we start with our original point of negative 3, 2, and now what happened to it? What did we do? What did we do to this point? Well, notice that the x-coordinate stays the same. Okay, so negative 3, negative 3, that's okay. But notice what happened to the y-coordinate, the 2 and then the negative 2. Okay. Now, if we had a, if we had time for a couple more examples, we might see this a little bit clearer. But one way to get from two to negative two is that we are going to take two and we're going to multiply by a negative one. Okay. Now, uh, writing it that way might be just a little bit confusing. Let me write it just a little bit differently. Let me write this just a little bit differently. Okay. Because uh, if you use multiplication, we want to try to use it right. So, negative one times 2. There we go. How about that? Okay, so I took the y coordinate and I multiplied by a negative 1 and what that's going to get me is the new point, my new point that I have down here, which is negative 3, negative 2. Okay, so we can see with the notation how to get there. We can see with the notation how to get there. Okay, so in general, what does this mean? In general, so this means for just any point, for any point, if I want to reflect across the x-axis, I'm going to take my x, y coordinates, and what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to leave the x coordinate alone. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything to that, but I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the y coordinate and I'm going to multiply it by a negative one. I'm going to multiply that y coordinate by a negative one. Okay, so that's how I flip, that's, that's in general how I flip points across the x-axis, is I take the y-coordinate and I multiply it by a negative 1. You can also think of it this way, you can also think of it as changing the sign, just going from a positive 2 to a negative 2. That's another, that's a different way to look at it. Okay, so that is reflecting points across the x-axis. What about reflecting points across the y-axis, so mirroring across the y-axis, okay? Now, uh, some of the rules are going to stay the same. So what's going to happen here is I have this point, which is 1, 2, 3, away from the y-axis. So and when I take this point and reflect it, it's also going to be 1, 2, 3 points away from the y-axis. So this is where my new point is going to be. The coordinates of this new point are 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So 3, 2. So those are the coordinates of my new points. Again, the distance here is 3, and the distance there is 3. The distance from my mirror, from my axis that I'm reflecting across, is always going to be the same between the two points. Okay? So I reflect the point across the y-axis. What, what happened? So let's look at what happened. How did I get from this point, my original point, over to this one over here? So I took my point of negative 3, 2, and changed it. Now, notice here, Again, looking at the looking at the, the the numbers, the x and y coordinates, negative three to three, and then the y coordinate two to two. So it looks like the y coordinate this time didn't change at all. It was the x coordinate 
that changed a little bit. Now, very, very similar to last time on the last slide. Um, it looks like it went from just a negative 3 to a positive 3. So it looks like we just changed the sign. So it looks like we multiplied by a negative 1, and we left the y coordinate alone to get the new point, which is um, 3, 2. Positive 3 this time. Positive 3 this time. All right, forgot to move that around. Give me a moment to move that down there. There, it's better. Okay, so looking at this, we have our original point, 3, 2. We changed it by multiplying the x coordinate by negative 1, and we got the new coordinate of 3, 2. We can see that here in the picture over here. So in general, so for any sort of point, not just this point up here, but for any point, it looks like we take our x, y coordinates, or x, y coordinates, depending on how many you have, and we change them by multiplying the x coordinate by a negative 1. We multiply the x coordinate by negative 1, and that, that gets us to reflect, to mirror across the y axis. All right, that is reflecting points, both reflecting across the y-axis and across the x-axis.